Right. You're with Terrell Gachet, who will be fighting this Saturday at the Honda Center. Are uh, you going to be fighting Steve Martinez? I mean, this guy has two losses, I believe, with 15 wins. He's fought some really good competition, has a great amateur background, much like you. What are you expecting in this fight? Um, I expect him to be ready. I expect him to um, come out there and, um, you know, be ready. A tough competitor. Uh, it's going to be a, a decent fight because uh, this guy, he, he come to fight. Every, every, each fight I've seen him in, he come to fight, win, lose, or draw. So I'm looking for a great fight. Do you consider this a step-up fight? Or is it? Are you guys evenly matched? What do you expect in this fight? Um, to me, it's just another fight. To be honest, um, each fight is a is the biggest fight of my career. So every fight is another another step closer to my um, to my goal. And I feel like this guy's in the way, and I got to get him out the way. Who do you want at 154? Expecting that you come out victorious this Saturday. For sure, I will come out victorious, and I want. Um, to be honest, I want the people with the belts. Um, you know, that's that's the people I want. Whoever got them, that's what I want. Was it a little heartbreaking to see uh, Shakur Stevenson uh, lose a very close decision? Because you are also an Olympian. Were you uh, banking on the Americans to take home the gold? For sure. Um, not only him, but, you know, the whole team. I was watching um, as much as I could. I missed a couple fights, but for sure I wanted Shakur to um, get the gold, man. He... He fought his heart out. He fought a good fight. Nothing. To, um, he got to be proud of himself for going out there and getting that silver, man. And um, you know the whole team. They did real good, real good. And how well do we feel at 154 pounds? Because you're a pretty big junior middleweight. Yeah. Um, you know, it's sacrifices to make make the weight, but you know, it's um, that's a part of being the champion. So I feel as though uh, once I'm done accomplishing my goals, maybe I move up or maybe I stay here, but. Right now, we got a mission. <laughs> and how much have you learned from your trainer, Manny? Because he's one hell of a trainer, man. Yeah, um, to be honest, my career unfolded once I got with Manny. Um, he took me to the next level. I was already good. I had other trainers who led me up to this point, like uh, Bob Davis and Renard Sappho. They took me to a certain level, and he just elevated my game from there. Got me in the best shape of my life. And, um, you know, we undefeated, so we ain't broke, don't fix it. What are your thoughts on Canelo Alvarez challenging for the WBO Junior Midweight title? Um, to be honest, <laughs> to be honest, I don't really got no thoughts on that because my mind is focused on Saturday. Right. So you know, after that, then I might have an opinion. But I had to worry about Steven Martinez <laughs> to uh, Saturday. All right, my man. Sure. I look forward to it. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one.